what's inside the May Bass Finder Bass Fishing subscription box. Before we find out, if you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button, please. Also, if you're new, comment below and just say hello so I can say hello back. But right now, we're looking at what's inside this box. Here we go. Hope you're having a good day. Well, Bass Finder sent me another box. And uh, if you remember a couple months ago, I got this for the first time and it had a great, great value. Great value. Wasn't really overly excited about some of the lures because I thought I'd got some of them in the other boxes, the subscription boxes. But I thought I'd give it another shot. And uh, the reason why is, like I said, it gets great value. You can get this every month. It's usually about $39. They gave me a code, so it's $29 for me, which I really appreciate. Uh, but I, I'm gonna do a video for it too. But they usually give you over $70 worth of product in here, and that is really great. So we're gonna look at it, of course, the three ways. We're gonna look at it as the fishability, because they do kind of cater this to the area you live in. So I live in Florida, so they, they send out an email when you subscribe and you tell them what kind of fishing you like to do and then they kind of build the box around it. But I also ask not to have any lunker hunt or live target stuff because those are just, my opinion, it's overstock crap that you get in boxes. So we're going to look at the fishability. We're going to look at the overall brand, the brand, what, what the brands are in here. I want a good brand, a good quality product. I don't want something I've never heard of. I just don't like it. And then last but not least, we'll give it the overall value. We'll talk about how much it, well, we'll know it's $39.95 and what my overall return on investment is. So even though I saved 10 bucks, we're still gonna go on the $39.95. So, seems like I've been chattering on, but let's see what's inside it. I haven't looked. And they give you a little sheet that tells you what's in it and I appreciate that. So right off the bat, they sent us a Castaic. It looks like it might have been opened. CXV75 lipless crankbait. Not bad, not bad. They sent a Bruiser Baits Banger 110. Mm, not focusing today, there we go. I don't mind this one either. I'll, I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, I really love, I love twitch baits, jerk baits. This, this is my new favorite kind of bait to use. So I'm really happy about this one. Next, they sent a vicious popper ADV. Great time to have that. I don't know if you can see that. Great time to have that, kind of a big popper, but not bad. Next, they sent a Bait Labs tournament winning. This is the Rocket Shad, maybe? I, I don't mind this bait. I like this company quite a bit. Next, they sent a Rick Clun Classic Hail Mary, kind of like a lipless crankbait, kind of, sort of. Different kind of shape. That is the three quarter ounce. And now we get some lures. They're going to send us some Bass Candy X-Zones. I don't mind those. It's a floating worm. don't mind I always, I always like worms. They sent some Liquid Mayhem Incursion Crawls. Not bad. It also has the scent there. I like that too. Next, they sent some Big Bite Baits. This is the Warmouth. You get four of those in a pack, I guess. Wow, there's a lot in this. Next, they sent some double tail skirted grubs from Big Bite Baits. And then last but not least, they sent a net bait, the go-to bait, a six inch lizard that I'm not too, don't know about, but not too bad. So we got 
five plastic baits right there. And we got five hard lures. We got all that. Now, let's talk about the fish ability. Uh, the fish ability is probably going to be pretty high for this one. I don't think there's anything in here that I'm not going to use. Well, maybe one thing I'm not going to use. I'm going to use the lizards for sure in the month of June. Uh, I don't mind the crawls from Liquid Mayhem. I actually kind of like those. I'm going to use the worm. I think the only one I probably won't use might be the skirted grub from Big Bite Baits. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I might use these. They're kind of like a tube. Uh, I'm not a real good tube fisherman, but not, it's not too bad. I think all the, the hard baits, I think, are all fishable. I think that Bait Labs is another good one. So if we're going to talk about fishability, I can't really give it a 10. But I think I can give it a 9.2. Yeah, 9.2. That sounds legitimate. Uh, in terms of quality brand, the brand of product, I do know everything in there. I know the big bite baits. I know all of the hard baits. Are they my favorites? No, they're not my worst, the worst I've ever seen, but they're pretty good actually. It's pretty actually, it's a pretty good box. There's 10 baits in there for 30 bucks. That's pretty sick. So I think in terms of the quality of products, I'm gonna give it another, I'm gonna give it a nine. It's all pretty good stuff. Not the best of the best, but not the worst. It's actually a pretty good box. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my what I paid for it right here, or what you normally pay for it would be $39.99, and then we're going to put right here what the value is. But I got to do that after I edit this video because I have not, I didn't open it. Uh, if you want more information about that box, it's called the thebassfinder.com. Thebassfinder.com. It's $39.95. I don't know if you can use the code I use, but if you want one, just just message me and I will ask for you. You never know. Maybe you can get you can save a couple bucks on the first one. I don't know. I really don't know. I can ask though. So there it is. What do you think? Comment below and tell me what you think. And I really do appreciate it. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Thank you. And I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe to your own kids fishing.